We're talking a little bit about soccer, a little bit about football, you know, uh, little American football, whatever we all want to call it, uh, and the new spot for Frito Lay. So, uh, you know, what, what, what are your thoughts about soccer? I know you, you obviously played in the NFL. Uh, are you a big soccer fan at all? You know, what was it like working with David Beckham in this spot? Does that get you excited, uh, you know, for the World Cup here starting on Sunday? Yeah, it was a lot of fun working with David. Uh, we actually shot this spot over in London, so I flew over there to um, – uh, David's uh, stomping grounds, and um, we had a lot of fun. It was the first time I'd met him, and I was just kind of an odd. I was honored to be a part of the team, right, with Mia Hamm, uh, Julie Foudy, uh, Brandy Chastain, David Beckham. I was definitely the outsider, but we were uh, talking about this uh, well-known debate, right? Is it soccer? Is it football? Uh, it's always been soccer uh, for me uh, growing up. It's still what I call it today. Um, obviously, uh, football uh, is another sport that I would refer to, but it's different than the one David refers to it as. So uh, we had that debate. Um, uh, you see that in the commercial. But I think the main thing they were trying to get across Frito-Lay was that uh, Frito-Lay can bring people together, right? David and, um, and myself, two different backgrounds, but Frito-Lay can kind of bring it together. The World Cup brings people together to watch sports, uh, just like the Super Bowl. So that's what the World Cup's about. And uh, I know a lot of people will be tuning in to watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And and for me, it's one of those things. It doesn't matter what you call it, right? Like you said, it brings everybody together. It's the beautiful game. And as long as you can enjoy it, it doesn't matter what you call it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. And it's running for a long time. Uh, you know, obviously, it's, it's a huge tournament. It's competitive and that's a lot of chances for uh, people to uh, get some uh, Tostitos and uh, salsa and, uh, you know, uh, have some uh, gathering uh, watch parties, if you will. And um, uh, that's what sports is about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So do, do you watch soccer at all? You know, I, I know, obviously, as a former American football player, you know, and doing the Manning cast and so much around football, you're so ingrained in that. But what about soccer? And, you know, do you have any plans for the World Cup? Yeah, I think I'll watch some of the World Cup. Um I don't get to watch soccer a ton. Um, obviously, I played it uh, a little bit uh, as a kid. My kids uh, played soccer early on, you know, don't play anymore, but uh, have great respect uh, for all the athletes. And obviously, you know, Brandy and Mia and Julie, that was kind of my era, uh, 1999. <laughs> Uh, 1999, I was just starting out in the NFL. So I've known all three of those women, and I've enjoyed uh, uh, um, uh, having a friendship with them. And then, like I said, it was great to work with, with David. Uh, very uh, 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 smooth, uh, never gets rattled. I mean, throughout that whole commercial, he's just very much the same the whole time, kind of how he played. And uh, uh, he was very impressive and uh, uh, pretty funny in this spot as well, if I may say so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's he's probably just used to all the cameras and the attention, right? Whether it's on the field, yeah. off the field. So it's it's nothing for him at this point. <laughs> exactly. No, uh, yeah. I, I mean, as you see in the spot uh, at the end, uh, this debate kind of uh, continues outside of the house we were in. There's people all around. And David, I didn't bother him one bit. He was very comfortable with the big crowd around him. <laughs> yes, yeah, certainly. We're, we're seeing a lot of, uh, you know, investment in, in soccer in the United States, the growth in Major League Soccer, NWSL, USL. I know Eli, you know, recently invested in Gotham FC. So how, how do American football and, and global football, you know, coexist in, in the United States, especially with the World Cup coming in, uh, in 2026? Yeah, I knew Eli was involved in that. Uh, I haven't talked to him a lot about that. Look, there's room for everybody. I mean, people love sports and um you know, the NFL season is going to end here uh, in February and people are going to move on to the next sport. People like to watch it. It's a great thing to do together. Um, so I think there's plenty of room. Uh, obviously, I've always been biased, you know, toward football being being a great game and all the relationships and friendships that it's brought me. But I understand that David feels the same way about soccer. And so that's kind of where the debate started. And uh, I think Frito Lay did a good job of kind of, you know, uh, you know, sort of igniting that debate. But uh, I think there's room for, you know, for both. Uh, you know, obviously David owns a soccer team and uh, uh, other people are getting involved. It's very popular here in Colorado where I live. So uh, I think there's certainly room for all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I agree. I always wake up, I watch soccer, and then that transitions into the NFL on Sunday. So like, you know, there's there's room for both, like you said. That's right, yeah. Um, that's a good combination there. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, you, you know, you, you're certainly staying busy uh, since since retiring. You know, you're, you're taking jabs at Eli on the Manning cast, hosting the CMA Awards. Awards, excuse me, taking more, you know, jabs at Eli. Uh, I'm noticing a trend here. Uh, <laughs> Peyton's places, College Bowl. You know, you're doing you're doing spots with Frito Lay, Caesars, Barbecue Guys, like and probably a hundred other things I haven't named. Um, you know, how much fun are you having now since since your playing days? And did you think you'd be doing this much, you know, TV and, and acting and, and all that stuff? Well, I'd be careful calling it acting. I think that'd be a, a, a pretty much insult to all actors. Uh, um, I have fun doing it. Uh, yeah, um, I've enjoyed doing different things uh, since I stopped playing football. Um, I haven't just put myself in one box and only done that. I've enjoyed staying close to to the game of football. Uh, doing that with Eli on Monday nights has been fun. We do it from home, uh, which is different, right? I'm in Colorado. He's in New Jersey. We don't have to travel for it, so we get to be be home on the weekends and you know talk football with each other on Mondays and uh, College Bowl. You know, we filmed that in the summer. Got to do that with my brother Cooper. Uh, that was fun. Uh, the uh, these kids were super smart. Uh, can't tell you how many words I mispronounced, and yet the kids still got the answers correct. Uh, the CMA is just the other day. Uh, you know, Luke Bryan's a good friend of mine. He asked me to do it. I love country music, so um, that was uh, that was an enjoyable night. Um, I'm trying to do things that at least I have some sort of connection to. I'm not trying to get too far out of the box where I have no idea. Uh, what I'm doing, but uh, I feel like I'm doing a lot of these things kind of on my schedule where uh, being at my kids' volleyball games and youth football games is, is kind of top priority. And uh, the fact that I'm able to do that uh, uh, means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, certainly. And obviously a lot of it is with your Omaha production. So talk talk about how that's kind of evolved. And I know, you know, the the goal of that is to you know, entertain, educate, and unify audiences through all forms of storytelling. And and a lot of it seems to be funny. It's, it's comedy. You you and Eli are hilarious. You know, I watched you host SNL back in the day. He hosted it. And you guys just, you know, throwing the jabs at each other. So, you know, maybe talk about Omaha Productions and, and kind of where do you guys go from here? I know you have your hands in so many different things at the moment. Yes, it's been fun to be on the other side of, uh, of things with Omaha. You know, but prior to that, I was simply just sort of there kind of filling my role, but now to be a part of things where I'm not the 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 main part of it. You know, you, uh, you mentioned Peyton's Places. That's been fun to do for the past uh, uh, several years now. Uh, you know, season three is out right now. I love doing that. Omaha produces that, but I'm even probably more proud of Abby's Places. Abby Wambach talking about soccer, right? Uh, Eli does college football. Sue Bird is about to do college basketball. Uh, P.K. Subban's about to do hockey. So I, I'm prouder of those places, uh, stories that Omaha is a part of, yet it's it's allowing Abby to have her platform to kind of tell the story of soccer. So I've never been able to be a part of anything like that where uh, Omaha could help uh, give someone else a platform. Uh, and so uh, that's been probably the most enjoyable part of it for me. We've kind of attached and partnered with different people trying to tell positive stories uh, out there. And uh, I've really enjoyed being a part of that team. Mm, that's awesome. And like you said, you have a couple other ones coming down the line. Do you guys plan to continue the the places, you know, franchise, I guess, if you will, and go to different sports and, and bring in different athletes and personalities? Yeah, we certainly do. Uh, obviously, ESPN uh, has been a great partner. They've kind of um, suggested sports that are important to them that, you know, to tell those different stories. Uh, and we're also excited about even getting outside of sports uh, a little bit. Uh, I mentioned Luke Bryan. Luke Bryan is going to do a version of country music places. Uh, 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 LL Cool J is going to do hip hop places. Uh Admiral McRaven's going to do military places. And so all things that I'm fast, I'm uh, fac fascinated in the music industry, uh, military history, just the stories behind it. Um, it um, uh, we're very excited about doing that and kind of sharing that. Very cool. And last question. I know our time is uh, coming to an end here. Last question. Who wins the World Cup and why? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? What's your... Uh, you're watching it every morning on Sundays. 
Uh, tell me who you think right now is playing well. Oh, you're flipping it back on me. I see I how it is. I see how it is. All right. What, what about who wins the Super Bowl then? I'll ask you that question. <laughs> now that one um, is I, I have a little more knowledge of. Um, it, it's going to be so competitive uh, going down the stretch. I think the teams that are usually kind of in the mix are going to be back in the mix. Um I don't know. I'm an AFC guy, so I'm going to kind of I'm going to back I'm going to backpedal a little bit and go. I think a team from the AFC is going to win it. Uh, who that is, you know, whether it's you know the the Chiefs or the Bills or uh, someone else, but uh, for some reason I feel like this year it's going to be an AFC AFC team that wins it. Okay, fifty percent chance. So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, Peyton, thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate it. I had the quarter zip on too. I thought that we were going to do the quarter zip thing, and here you are with the the suit jacket. So uh, maybe next I like time. It. I like <laughs> it. Yeah, um, I'm glad Eli and I are starting a trend. Um, I'm not sure if that was the goal or not, but for some reason, uh, it, it seems to be catching on. Uh, probably in a fun way. Probably not in a serious way. <laughs> <laughs>